What is up, YouTube? It's Ubu, the tech guru, coming straight at you. Got some Crisis 3 crash site on the map Central Caverns. Uh, really cool map. Um, obviously, it's in the final release. Uh, the United States got the game yesterday, February 19th. And the gun that I wanted to talk about today is the Typhoon. This gun is a complete and utter beast. It shoots 500 rounds per second. It's, uh, it's considered a... Um, a multi-barrel stacked projectile gun. Now, I had a nice flank going there on those guys, but then I ended up trying to run away because I saw a nade by me. But I want to take you um, into a little private lobby here and just show you the... There's a default shotgun under barrel attachment. So notice I'm firing it normally right now, and it has the triangle type sight or triangle reticle um, on the screen. Then you activate the under barrel shotgun by hitting left on the D-pad, and it turns into a circle, you can notice. Um, some things to point out about the underbarrel shotgun are the fact that the stats change uh, of the gun. So when you're using the underbarrel shotgun, the rate of fire is... <clears throat> it is... Um, it's increased to 20 out of 20. The range is increased from 2 all the way up to 8. And the damage is actually decreased from 16 down to 10. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. And the ammo is shared between the normal rounds and the shotgun rounds. So as you can see, I ran out of ammo using the shotgun there. Now let's go back into the, the normal game here. <clears throat> I'm playing with uh, Big Snacks, the CEO of Yaosh, and the... The Typhoon you're going to see is uh, it's a great close quarter combat gun, uh, good for hip firing, and um, it just has some deadly some deadly just brute force with it. Its amount of um, bullets that it just puts out into your enemy is just insane. Like I said, 500 rounds per second is you know I don't think there's any other gun that can compete with that amount that uh, rate of fire. It's just it's it's insane. Um, now the attachments you can put on the gun, <clears throat> you can obviously for sights you can put on the reflex sight, you can put on the assault scope, and um, you can put on the rifle laser sight. Uh, for the end of barrel attachments, there are none. Just because um, it's kind of like the, the G18 from uh, Black Ops 1 where you can't put anything on the end of the barrel because of the the unique you know barrel system that it has like I said it, it, it is a multi barrel stacked projectile gun so there are no end of barrel attachments for it and then uh, the under barrel it like I said it comes defaulted with the shotgun and then you can also uh, or you can use a foregrip or you can use the hologram uh, decoy image projector under barrel attachment um, each of those are unlocked at certain levels, but like I said, the shotgun is unlocked wow. on your um, Typhoon immediately when you start the game. I mean, at least it was for me. And now, the Typhoon is unlocked at, I want to say, level 15. Yep, the Typhoon is unlocked at level 15, along with REX charges, which are like remote remote detonated charges so I guess you could think of them as C4 so you can see in the background here we're losing 35 to 75 <clears throat> and I don't know if you saw that guy standing there he was dead already and um, I've ran into a couple of those it must be a game glitch or that or the person backed out right when they died and it left their character standing there <laughs> it's kind of funny looking because I've I've ended up trying to shoot at plenty of them um, and it turns out to, to just be already be a dead person man this gun it's it's crazy. I mean, if you put on maneuverability with uh, with this gun here, you it allows you to move a lot quicker. You know, some of the other perks or modules that I run with this, um, I do use the auto armor with it. But you know, you're free to use whichever other module you want instead of auto armor if you're really good at uh, managing. You know, your armor. Look at that two piece right there. Damn, son, this gun is just top notch. Um, 
But, so I run maneuverability with this gun, and then the other one I run is uh, low profile, which it uh, keeps me off of the enemy radar um, when they have a max radar up. And for those of you that aren't familiar with, uh, really you only need to get three kills in a row and collect three, you know, collect your three tags from your kills to get a max radar. So, you know, if you have anybody that's semi-decent at the game, there's going to be max radars called in, you know, throughout the game. So you're going to want to stay off of the radar if you like flanking people, you know, if you like um, taking them out from, from various angles. <clears throat> um, the kill streaks in the game, uh, they vary from map to map, but they are all the same for everyone. They're, they're not selectable kill streaks, so it's kind of like COD 4 if you're coming from the Call of Duty series. Um, for the first one, the the kill streak, like I said, is max radar for three kills in a row, and you do have to pick up your tag after you complete a kill. So I think that's kind of an, an added you know, benefit or a, a neat thing about the score streaks or skills kill streaks in this game. I, that guy was cloaked and I did not see where he was. I was kind of irritated I died there. But, um, you know, it adds a neat function or feature to where, you know, if you kill somebody, it just doesn't automatically necessarily get you to your kill streak. You have to go and get the tag. So sometimes shooting at people, you got to keep in mind, um, you know, if you're going to be able to end up going to get that tag or if they're better off just leaving them alone. <clears throat> but um, then number five is um, I'm trying to think what the fifth kill streak is. It um, it varies from map to map, but some some maps it's the swarmer, and then um, for eight kills or seven kills, I forget. You know what? I'm probably gonna do my another video. I'll do another video about the uh, the score streaks or kill streaks. But um, this one is just basically about the Typhoon. Um, the the um, the size of the magazine is a pretty pretty good size, and <clears throat> I think you can reload like a total of four times before you end up running out of ammo. Um, the gun is is just spectacular. I definitely suggest you try it out. Like I said, it's unlocked at level 15. This guy here was on the max radar, and I could not find him. <laughs> Then he ends up being over here on my right. <clears throat> but um, man, I'm just really, really uh, impressed with uh, with the map design uh, within this game. There's so many elevation changes and just so much to all these maps. I can only imagine um, the amount of time it took to develop and design some of these maps in this game. This one, like I said, is called uh, Central Caverns. And um, there is some interactive stuff on the map. I'm not really sure what it does but uh, you know on this big platform with these red lights it says press X to activate it and I you know you press it and I'm not really sure what it ends up doing but um, that's something to keep in mind oh, sorry about the phone call here guys <clears throat> so you know like I said definitely suggest uh, checking out the Typhoon very very strong weapon um, I you know it's probably a better suited weapon for uh, smaller maps like I know one of the bigger maps is uh, like Hydro Dam it's a gigantic map and uh, there's a lot of water in it and you can actually swim in this game it's kind of kind of crazy and then another big map is uh, Brooklyn Bridge I think um, so you know some of the maps aren't gonna play as well with uh, this SMG um, type type gun but these uh, smaller I mean this really isn't that small of a map it is pretty big but it has a lot of more close combat quarter uh, gunfights <clears throat> this happens to me a lot notice how I killed him but he also killed me <laughs> I don't know how that ends up happening but um, so you know hopefully you found this video informational uh, in regards to the typhoon you know I do apologize if it doesn't seem like I have a lot of the information as far as uh, clip size and um, you know all that stuff but it, the gun is new to me and I just wanted to get a, a video out of, uh, showing me using it and um, you know giving my take on it um, it's a very like I said very strong weapon uh, close quarter combat and medium range I would say the iron sights on it aren't too bad I'm enjoying it I knew there was a guy up here and I did not see him and I got all confused and mixed around 
and ended up dying. But um, so I have uh, tons more Crisis 3 videos coming. That's probably what I'm going to be uploading pretty consistently on my channel. I've pretty much had enough of Call of Duty, and now that this game is finally released, that's pretty much all I'll be playing. <clears throat> I'm thoroughly enjoying all of the different maps. There's tons of different game modes that I'll probably make a separate video on. Um, so I went 20 and 13. We ended up winning 150 to 100. Uh, I just noticed now I'm the only 4-bar in here and everyone else is 2-bar and 3-bar. I wonder if that's had anything to do with why I did so well. <laughs> it's, it is certainly possible. But um, hit that subscribe button if you're interested in some more Crisis 3 videos. And give me a rating. Let me know what you thought of the video. And I will see you on the battlefield. Ubu out.